درسن درسن بس ندمك وزنا زكزه عبد عبد انا دغ دسن سوا دم يند سوا دم انغا ما قيمه يتجدد ميدو على فونتير avec le mali انت ورجي انت ان اتاك دون غار فيولونس ورش وي ريبا بلا ساكال سي تو ساكال سك بوس تمر ون امبرات يا دغ يند دابا تكسن ام موتا Boko Haram multiplie les attaques dans la région de Difa. A lot of people think that to combat terrorism, you just have to send the army, they kill terrorists, and that's it. You can fight them militarily, but how do we fight their ideas among the people? The Republic of Niger is a vast desert nation, a legendary crossroads of cultures and trade, with breathtaking landscapes and warm, hospitable people. Surrounded by countries infested with jihadi militants, Niger has been called the last man standing in the Sahel. It is an oasis of peace and stability in a perilous neighborhood, where other nations are crumbling under the waves of a tsunami of insurgents. How does landlocked Niger, the poorest country in the world, maintain stability against all odds? Tout le Sahel pratiquement fait l'objet de menaces, d'agression et d'instabilité. Il se trouve que le Niger tient debout. Nous avons des mécanismes et des instruments qui nous permettent de prévenir justement, de lutter contre justement ces menaces de manière préventive. C'est ainsi que je pourrais citer euh, la haute autorité à la consolidation de la paix. The answer lies in the synergy between the enlightened policies of its president, Mohamedou Issoufou, and the far-sighted strategy of General Mohamedou Abu Tarka, head of the High Authority for the Consolidation of Peace, which spearheads the president's plan to stabilize Niger's borders and preserve national unity. It's for the state to be able to come in, work with the population, dialogue with the population, but also uh, see that the demands of the population, economic demand of the population are met. That's where the High Authority for Peace Consolidation comes in. Founded in 1995, in the aftermath of a major Tuareg rebellion, the High Authority was created to solidify an enduring peace between the government and the rebels. In doing so, the government learned lessons about the importance of dialogue, forgiveness, responding to grievances, and fostering national unity. C'est seulement une nouvelle vision de la façon de faire face aux problèmes de instabilité et de insécurité. Le président a dit si on gagne pas la population, on a perdu la guerre. With the rise of extremism in the Sahel beginning in 2011, newly elected president Issoufou decided to bestow a growing importance to the high authority with a focus on fighting threats caused by jihadi incursions and the isolation of populations along Niger's extensive borders. Today, the high authority coordinates its activities with various other governmental agencies, building roads, schools, and wells, creating vocational programs for reformed terrorists, mediating between groups in conflict, encouraging the population to trust in the military and police forces, and perhaps most importantly, building confidence in the policies of the government while deconstructing the radical ideologies proposed by jihadis. It is always important to consult the population because they who know their real needs, their reality, Recently, the High Authority convoyed to the border town of Bankilari, where its population is traumatized by nearby terrorist attacks. General Abu Tarka listened to the grievances of the people and promised that the government would work with them to maintain security. <laughs> President 
The president and the high authority are together enacting a winning strategy based on Niger implementing its own solutions to stabilizing its borders. On the other hand, funding from the outside world is vital to giving the high authority enough capacity to execute its policies. It is this partnership with international institutions that offers Niger a major advantage in rapidly responding to the needs of its population, the cornerstone in the combat of ideas between the forces of enlightenment and dogmatic extremists. In the war against radicalized insurgents, a conflict that threatens the very existence of the nations in the Sahel, the high authority uses modern tactics with great success to maintain stability in Niger, even as the states around it struggle under the unrelenting assault. <laughs> Today, the high authority continues to innovate and adapt to an ever-fluid situation and to fight this war using peaceful means alongside conventional military response. The high authority for the consolidation of peace, winning people's support, isolating extremists, 